The red planet is one of the most explored objects in this entire universe. The reason is that it's the only nearest planet that is potentially habitable, and it's the only planet where the likes of NASA have sent rovers to roam the alien landscape. Through tens of these missions, we have come to find the evidence of water, organics, methane, and more. Scientists are still curious about this planet, if it can or ever have inhabited life. The recent purple color spotted on the Mars rocks has got the scientists scratching their heads. Mars that was called the Red Planet is showing its true colors. Is this the sign of life? Have we finally found a new home? Or is it the aliens? Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out about the mysterious purple coating found on the rocks of Mars that can be our way to a new home. Mars has captivated humans since we first set eyes on it as a star-like object in the night sky. In the 1960s, humans set out to discover what the red planet has to teach us. Ever since that, with hundreds of worlds in our solar system, Mars became one of the most explored bodies. It is a dynamic planet with seasons, polar ice caps, canyons, extinct volcanoes, and evidence that it was even more active in the past. And most important of all, it might be habitable. Even though the possibilities of ancient life on Mars appear to be high, the argument that we should explore the red planet because it is possibly a livable world loses steam when we consider that Mars isn't the only potentially habitable world in our vicinity. To mention a few potentially livable water ice worlds in our solar system, scientists have tracked spurting water at Saturn's moon Enceladus and Jupiter's moon Europa. Also, a highly contagious discovery of phosphine in Venus's atmosphere sparked speculation about life on the hellish planet. But experts think that that's a reach based on current evidence. But still, the traces of life have been found. The question here is of why? Why just keep going back to Mars? With all these missions, scientists gathered so much information about the planet, but they keep going back. Space.com states that, according to scientists, there is something really special about Mars. So special that three new missions have arrived at or are nearing the red planet. With the planets aligning for launch possibilities every two years or so, Mars is close enough to be visited reasonably easily with current technology. Its atmosphere is difficult to land in and navigate through. But unlike Venus, it will not crush or melt your spacecraft on the surface. Currently, NASA has four spacecraft studying the objects. The new purple discovery is made by its Perseverance rover. It is one of the three spacecraft that arrived at Mars in 2021. Perseverance rover, the largest and most advanced rover NASA has sent to another world, touched down on Mars early last year. We know that and as the name suggests, red dust colors, Mars in reddish tones from the surface to the sky. However, among the rusty colors, NASA's Perseverance rover discovered streaks of distant color. The Martian sky turned purple at practically every location visited by the robot geologist. According to Anne Olila, a geochemist at Los Alamos National Observatory, who presented an early analysis of the coding at a recent conference of the American Geological Union, or AGU, on certain stones. The color produces a thin, smooth covering, while on others, it leaves paint-like blobs. Other pebbles appear to have been partially covered in magenta icing. Purple pop-up on rocks of all shapes and sizes, even tiny pebbles, haven't escaped the pops of purple. This wasn't seen or observed by any other rover on Mars before. So, where did it come from now? And how did these coatings form? Anna Olila says that she doesn't really have a good answer to this for us. So, guess we have to wait for it a little to find out more about these purple rocks. Like every one of us, scientists are also curious to know more about this. Nina Lanza, the team lead for space and planetary exploration, who has been studying the coatings alongside Olila, says there's a lot to look forward to as we continue to do analysis. The origin of these mysterious purple splotches can have many answers for the scientists. It can offer information about Mars's past, 
such as whether it once housed ancient life. The coatings may have encoded information about the surrounding conditions in their chemical and mineral makeup as they formed, allowing scientists to reconstruct long-gone habitats. Microbes assist in the creation of many comparable stony veneers on Earth. Thus, they could hold more direct proof of life. Scientists can learn more about how other worlds operate by studying crusts like this. Cassandra Marnoka, an environmental microbiologist at Niagara University in New York, wonders how universal are geological processes and how do they change from planet to planet? These purple stains can have the answer. The purple Martian coatings were found in the Jezero Crater. It's a 28-mile-wide crater created billions of years ago by a meteorite collision that once hosted an ancient lake. When Perseverance landed in the crater, flashes of purple appeared in its photographs at practically every stop along the way. While rock coatings are not uncommon on Mars, scientists have been baffled by Jezero's abundant purple flecks. Purdue University's Bradley Garzinski is researching the coatings with data from a pair of Mastcam Z cameras. These cameras are essentially the rover's scientific eyes. According to the researcher, these particular purple patches we haven't really seen with past rover missions. Scientists can acquire a basic notion of rock composition by collecting photos using a range of filters that block specific wavelengths of light. Olila and her colleagues are taking an even closer look at the coatings using the rover's SuperCam. SuperCam can vaporize a small amount of material and determine its elemental makeup by shooting a laser at it. Each laser blast makes a snapping sound and carves a small depression in the surface. The scientists can hear when the laser cuts through the coating and into the rock underneath because a microphone aboard the rover takes up the noise. These noises also provide information about the rock's qualities such as hardness. According to preliminary results from these investigations, the purple color appears to be a layer that is softer and chemically unique from the rocks beneath. According to Garzinski, Mascam Z images hint the coatings may contain types of iron oxide, whereas according to Alila, SuperCam analysis suggests they are enriched in hydrogen and occasionally magnesium. These are some really intriguing findings that can reveal traces of life. Water may have played a part in the development of the purple spots based on the presence of hydrogen. Iron oxide also indicates the presence of water like rust does on an iron rod left in the rain. More research could provide a wealth of facts about Mars's wet past, including how long water lingered in the Jezero crater, and possibly the chemistry of the lake itself. The location of the purple spots, on the other hand, is a bit of a puzzle. Perseverance's current route doesn't cut through lake sediments, but rather rocks that formed from a cooling magma it's unclear how the rocks got to their current location on the crater floor, or when and how water came into contact with them. According to Lanza, if she were to guess at where you can find coatings in this whole package of material in Jezero, it wouldn't probably be here. According to National Geographic, such veneers are frequently associated with life on Earth. Thus, the Martian rocks coating might be a significant benefit for astrobiologists. In hostile conditions, the nooks and crevices of rocks can provide nutrients, a sun protection, or moisture in otherwise arid landscapes, offering a tiny safe haven for bacteria. By metabolizing metals blasted off the rock surface or dissolving in water, some of these bacteria aid in a creation of coatings. Coatings on Mars could potentially help preserve evidence of ancient creatures by protecting fragile organic structures from being degraded by the planet's powerful solar radiation. The researchers want to learn more about the chemistry of the coatings and look for organic substances in the Martian crusts, which could indicate the presence of bacteria. However, there is a little problem in studying these rocks on Mars. SuperCam's different chemistry readings and the changes in the laser sounds don't always seem to line up, and Mars's strong wind also limit when scientists can hear the laser snaps. As one of the researchers said, Mars doesn't make things easy for us. 
So getting the rocks back to Earth for lab analysis is one of the few ways to definitively pin down how the purple patches formed. However, despite the fact that Perseverance is a strong mission, the rover's compact size limits the number of instruments and equipment it can bring to Mars. Perseverance explains why it's crucial to keep returning to Mars, because one of the mission's goals is to save the most promising samples. If plans and financing remain on track, NASA and the European Space Agency will launch an ambitious sample return mission later this decade to finally bring the rocks back to Earth where they may be examined in advanced, secure facilities on our home planet. With that, we have come to the end of our video. These purple splotches have got into the list of unsolved mysteries for now. However, in the near future, we might be able to get the answers. One thing is for sure, these purple patches are not related to aliens. However, the purple rocks can be our key to the survival on the red planet. What do you think about the purple coating? Has life really started there now? Share your views in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for the update on upcoming space videos. Until then, have a great day and thanks for watching.